In this video, we're going to be making a loading bar like this one in Pygame. So first, let's import all of our modules, which is going to be Pygame, Sys, and finally, Threading. This last module, Threading, is a new module which we'll use to run two bits of Python code at the same time, and I'll get into that afterwards. Next, let's create our screen. So we're using the set mode function and we're going to pass in 1280 by 720 as a tuple because that's how big we want the screen to be. And I will caption it. So pygame.display.setCaption and we'll call it loading bar. Next let's go ahead and create our font. Now you're only going to have to create a font if you want to implement some text. But if you're actually using this for a game, then you would want to put your game after the loading bar. But let's just go ahead and make it for this demo. So font will be equal to pygame.font.sysfont. And the font I'm going to use is Roboto. And the size is going to be 100. And then we'll make a clock. So I want this to run at 60 FPS. So I'll say clock is equal to pygame.time.clock. And we can go ahead and create our game loop. So down here, we'll say while true. And now we'll have to cycle through all of the events and check if we have quit. So for event in pygame.event.get. Now let's check if we've quit. So let's say if event.type equals pygame.quit, then we should say pygame.quit and sys.exit. Now let's make the screen a shade of dark blue. So we'll say screen.fill and the value is going to be hashtag 0D0E2E. So this is a nice shade of dark blue that I found, but you can control this and change it to whatever you like. Finally, let's go ahead and update our display by saying pygame.display.update. And finally, let's set our FPS to 60 by saying clock.tick60. And before we run it, we have to initialize pygame. Sometimes I forget to do this, but it's very important. So pygame.init, and now we can run our code. And we'll get a blank blue screen that says loading bar. Now let's actually create the loading bar. So the first thing we need to do is create a variable that stores how much work we want to do. You wouldn't have to do this if you were actually loading something important like some game files. But since we're not doing any real work, we're just doing a, a little bit of math to simulate doing real work. We're going to create a variable that says work is equal to like, like maybe 1 million. So this work variable is going to store how many times we are going to iterate through a for loop. So for this demo, we're just going to be doing a simple math equation 1 million times. And then let's get our loading background and our loading bar loaded in. So let's say loading BG, and that'll be equal to pygame.image.load. And now let's put in the path of the image. And for me, the path of the image is going to be loading bar background.png. So as you can see, this is the background of the loading bar. Our loading bar is going to start somewhere here and it's going to go until the very end. So let's go back and Let's address it. So loading bar background dot PNG. And now let's create a rect for that. So loading BG rect will be equal to loading BG dot get rect. And the center is going to be at the center of the screen. So it's going to be at 640 pixels on the X axis and 360 pixels on the Y axis. Now let's load in the actual loading bar. So we'll call it loading bar and it will be equal to pygame.image.load again. So loading bar.png, that's the file path for loading bar. If it's in a different folder for you, then you have to address it. But since it's in the same folder, I can just call it by its name. Let's make a rect for that too. So loading bar rect will be equal to loading bar.get rect. And this time, instead of saying the center is going to be at the center of the screen, we're going to say that the very left side of our loading bar, so mid left, the left side of our loading bar will be equal to 280 pixels on the X axis and 360 pixels on the Y axis. So we are aligning our loading bar to the left side of the screen. So it's going to start off at the left side of the screen and it's going to continue to the right side of the screen. And we want it to be at the center vertically. 
Now for our loading bar, we have to create a couple extra variables. So the extra variables will be if we've finished or not. So what we'll call it loading finished. So this is just going to store if we've finished loading or not, and we're going to default it to false. And then we're going to say loading progress. Since we want to store how far we've progressed with our loading, we're going to store it in an integer and we're going to set it to zero. And finally, we're going to store the width of the loading bar. So loading bar width. Since our width is going to increase, we need to store a variable for that and then we'll increase it later on. And we're going to default it to eight pixels. Since one pixel looks a little too small and you can't even see it, we're going to set it to eight pixels by default. And at this point, we can actually create the function for doing some work. So I'll go down here and say def do work. And inside of here, we're just going to do some math. So uh, we're going to do some math work amount of times. So as you may recall, I made a variable up here called work. And this is just stored as 1 million for now, we can change it later on. But basically, we're just going to do some math like a million times. First, we have to address two of the variables we made earlier. So firstly, we have to say global loading finished and loading progress. So we want to edit the values of these two things, which is why we need to use the global keyword to get access to them. Now let's cycle through the work by saying for I in range work. And inside of here, let's do a little bit of math. So let's make a variable called math equation. And we're actually not going to do anything with this variable, we're just going to store a value for it. So our CPU will be doing a little bit of work. And this will be equal to like, five, two, three, six, eight, seven, or whatever number divided by this random number times this random number. And for this math equation, you can pretty much just put in whatever math you want, or you can put in your actual loading. So if you had some assets that you needed to load, or you needed to create like a bunch of sprites, then you would do it inside of this loop. And you can just load it like that. Next, we have to increase loading progress. So we'll say loading progress will be equal to I. So if we start out I as zero, then loading progress will be equal to zero. And as I increases, loading progress will also increase. Finally, once we're done this for loop, then that means we finished all of the work. So we should set loading progress, loading finished, sorry, to true. Now let's go down to the game loop and actually create the logic. So we want to do two things. If we haven't finished loading, then we should increase the width of the loading bar. And if we have finished loading, then we should just display some text. So let's say if and this should be up here. So let's say if not loading finished. So if we have not finished loading, then we should do a few things. Firstly, we should update the width of the loading bar. So we'll say loading bar width will be equal to loading progress. So how far we've progressed divided by work. And then we're going to multiply this by 720 pixels. So basically what's going on here is we're seeing how far we've progressed with our work in relation to how far we should progress. And then we're putting that on a scale of zero to 720 because zero pixels would be zero progress and 720 pixels would be 100% progress. Now we have to update the loading bar accordingly. So we're going to have to scale it to the new width. So let's say loading bar is equal to pygame.transform.scale. And inside of here, we need to put two parameters. The first is the one that we want to scale. So we want to scale loading bar and we want to scale it to be loading bar width in width. And for the height, we're just going to put some constant like 150 pixels, which looks nice in relation to the loading background. And we'll update the rect too. So loading bar rect is equal to loading bar dot get rect. And once again, the mid left will be equal to 280 pixels on the x axis and 360 pixels on the y axis. Finally, we're going to say screen dot blit loading background. So the background with its rect. So we're putting the loading background on first, and then we're going to put the loading bar second. So we've blit that and now we have to blit the second one, which is loading bar with its rect. So loading bar rect. And that's all we have to do if we have not finished loading. 
Now, if we have finished loading, then we're going to display some text. But before that, we need to create the text. And once again, this part is optional. If you were making a real game, then you would just put your game after the loading bar. But since we're just doing a small demo, I'm going to make a text object over here. And I'll call it finished since it's going to say done. And we'll assign it to font render. And the text is going to say done. We want anti-aliasing on, so we'll say true. And the color is going to be white. We'll also make a rect for that. So, and this is a typo here. It should be finished. And we'll make a rect. So finished rect is equal to finished dot get rect. And the center is going to be the center of the screen. So 640 by 360. Now let's go ahead and blit the finished text onto its rect if we have finished loading. So else screen dot blit finished with its rect. And we can run our code, but if we do go ahead and run our code, oh, it says uh, integer argument expected. Okay, so we have to convert this to an integer. So loading bar width should be an integer because Pygame does not like floats when you're referring to position. So we'll go ahead and do that. And let's run our code one more time. And as you can see, we're actually not going to get a moving loading bar. This is because we haven't called our function that does the work. You may be thinking, why don't we just call it in the game loop? And we can't do that because we want to address all of this code in the game loop and we want to do this work at the same time. So how can we do two processes at the same time with Python? The answer to that is using the threading module. So we just have to create a thread. So to create a thread, we'll say threading dot thread. And now we have to put in the function that we want. So the function is going to be do work. So, so the target will be equal to do work. And that's all we have to do for this. And then we'll say dot start to actually start it up. And now if we try it one more time, it'll actually do stuff. But it was very, very, very quick because uh, the CPU ran really fast. So if I add another zero to it, you might be able to see it. So as you see, we have a loading bar and it finishes and it says done. So it's actually working perfectly behind the scenes. At the same time, we are doing this math and we are checking how far we've progressed and updating the loading bar accordingly. If you wanted to put all of your loading inside of this, you can just make sure you have to increase loading progress when you're doing that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can use this loading bar for all of your Pygame and Python projects. So if you found this video helpful in any way, please consider subscribing because I promise there are going to be a lot more videos like this in the future. And also, if you like the video, then please consider liking it because it helps. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next video. But until the next video, this has been LarTech signing out. Have a good day.